All right, so we're going to be doing a, a religious talk today. Uh, we're going to go over the Civilization VI religion beliefs and stuff. I got Comrade Kane, or I guess it's just Kane now here with me. No, it's Comrade Kane. Kane is just shorter. But uh, you know, you can call me Comrade anytime. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I got a game uh, loaded up here. Yeah, you got the game loaded, and uh, it's Gandhi, right? And yeah. why is it Gandhi? Yeah, it's a, it's this amazing Gandhi save where somebody hard built Stonehenge to get a religion like that's on turn thirty five. Yeah, the first religion in the world. Look, Listen. look at that thing. That is that is I mean, the best way. How to get much? A religion. How much error score are you getting right now? You're well, building the let's wonder, look right there. Plus three. Um, you get so, in the first religion in the world. Yeah, so, so that's great person, five. that's one. Old World Wonder is four. Let's go found that religion. Yeah, found a religion, it's another, I think it's five. Uh, let's go ahead and, like, what is the religion name for this? I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. We didn't think through that. <laughs> one of my favorite was anchovies on pizza. That was like, I don't know how it happened, but... My kids were complaining that about pineapples on pizza. And I was like, you know what? You guys don't know anything because anchovies on pizza is even worse. But then there are so many fans of it yeah. <laughs> when they posted it on Reddit. Bad rankings. Yeah. So unfortunately, the, the religion, uh, what is your thinking on ranking? Uh, what was your thinking on your rankings was too long by one letter. So let's just jump right in. So we're looking at the, uh, what, what do we got? Uh yeah, this is a follower. The, the follower, follower belief, belief is this yeah, one. Yeah, comes oh. in first. That's the first belief you have to pick. Here, uh, Kane has this amazing website here, com comradekane.com, where he has all these great visuals. Like, they're, they're actually pretty high quality. I, I've always been impressed. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Thanks for the promo. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No, I, I, like, I've used this on me to make memes and stuff, so it's only fair. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I, I've Perfect. stolen your graphics a lot because you saved me a lot of work. So, what's the idea behind this graphic? Is 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 the order you would pick beliefs in the the way I saw it like half a year ago, right? Yeah. So the green ones are some the the beliefs I would pick first. I yeah. Consider picking first, uh, depending on the game conditions. And going all the way to the red, that meaning that I would probably never pick those. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, just and, because of the opportunity cost. Right? And, and and to to be sure, I, I would say I, I want to talk about these, and then I want to like look at your uh, awful rankings. I will say there's one standout, and I just have to I just have to get this all the way right away. Um, okay. Divine inspiration plus four face to all world wonders. Why is that so low? Why is that below religious community? Like, why why is that second to uh, the bottom? Like, exp explain because, your thinking there. I mean, when would you pick divine? I want to go through each one by one. Well, we're going to go, go through, through all of them, one. but here, here's the thing. I, I looked at that, and I was like, what are you thinking? Like, I, I get that generally divine inspiration is not viewed as good but come on man you like you're talking about opportunity costs you're talking about when divine are you inspiration it. is any of the browns so i will pick it after i would consider jesuit and work ethic and whatever is above whether it comes to religious community which religious community is stupid i i don't i would never that's probably the worst that that, that is the, below see, warrior monks in my that's, opinion that's where we should discuss it yeah one by one because 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 like tr I trust me you've forced. got you've got some really you've got some really <laughs> bad rankings in here i just want to get perfect, that out of the way perfect. all right but anyways so if we're looking at your your follower belief yeah let's go with the follower beliefs first because that's because that's what we're looking at you have to pick yeah. And that's the first one that comes up once you've found the religion. All right, so we're going to go choral music first, right? Exactly. Which one, unless you get first unless you get first or second religion, choral music is never going to be there. I'd say like 75% of games, it's the first choice by the AI. Which is right. It's, it is nine times because out of ten. Because it's so strong, yeah, right? Nine times out of ten, it's the best. When you're playing a Russia game... Uh, even with uh, Dance of the Aurora, if your 
able to utilize your faith to make up for the production loss of a work ethic religion, I would argue choral music is still the strongest choice, even in a situation like that, where every city is going to be like 20 production, because production is creatable, culture is only available from so many sources. And early, right? How early? With the shrine, you can build a shrine and temple super early. In the first hundred turns, you can have multiple holy sites with multiple shrines and temples. If like all you're trying to do is get to the victory screen, choral music is always is like some players would be like, why are you saying choral music is so uh, valuable? And the way you play the game, the way we play the game is that we build a lot of holy sites because yeah. faith is such a good currency early on. Right. And yeah. because you build a lot of holy sites, obviously you're going to have shrines and temples, but they provide culture. Culture, again, guys, in any game is super, super valuable yield. Well, culture wins games. The, 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 the thing with culture... Culture wins games. There you go. Yeah. Culture wins games uh, because everything unlocked by culture is instant. If you unlock op uh, Early Empire, you get open borders for free the second it's unlocked. Uh, you don't have to invest anything. You can sell it right away. It keeps units out of your territory. When you unlock Theocracy, you get the government right away. There's no investment. You get the new government. You get all the bonuses it provides. When you unlock new cards, you get them right away. Unlike science, where you don't get anything from science other than... The very first few, the animal husbandry, mining, and irrigation, and then sailing and cartography, everything else, there is an investment to receive what has been unlocked. So just on a one-to-one -one basis, culture is better. But culture also amplifies every other aspect of the game because every single card, every single government is in the culture tree. It doesn't and matter what you have envoys there, right? Yep. And you have governor titles. And yep. just, just so much is tied to culture yeah. that much more than any other currencies. So choral music, number one, I think it's, it's um, you know, without any debate between us, at least, right? Yeah, no, I mean... It's like impossible I... to get, <laughs> but, but it's number one. Choral music, if it's available, picking it is the right call. Uh, I would say there are arguments for two and three being slightly stronger than choral music. Uh, so let's see. What... It's two and eight like any game, right? Like, but yeah, I feel like it's... it's a, pretty pretty solid default choice yeah so the next one i have is feed the world yeah um, and that's that is one or two for the ai as well exactly and you know it's just the same logic shrines and temples right housing early housing early food your cities are growing you're going to be able to build districts faster etc people are always concerned about amenities if you play your game right, you can manage that early on with luxuries and trades. All right. Well, I, I would argue that I, I don't like feed the world as much. Um, I, I just don't. It, it doesn't do anything for me. I, you only need seven population. Why, why am I worried about that much housing and food? Yeah, like my cities will be better with that much. Like, And this is right away. Any city, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it helps when the map sucks right yeah for example yeah. because we always talk about oh you're starting location this you're starting location that feed the world can fix many starting locations yeah it can fix russian starting locations um but with russia you're better off with work ethic than th feed the world sure. um, here here's right. my problem with ranking feed the world so high is feed the world uh fixes bad starting locations in that it, it it's a good accessory like it amplifies stuff how does it help you like how does it directly help you win i mean it's you know you the only contribution here is city growth right yeah yeah um city growth turns into population but again you're going to be limited by amenities but i guess if you look at the opportunity cost um and work ethic for example yes and you do have the edge see if if there was a situation for example where feed the world is available work ethic is available but my adjacency is very poor let's yes. say like a bunch of holy sites they were like plus one yeah right and plus two i would go with feed the world i don't care about that production no and that, that that's that's a fair argument uh what i would say uh, and this is what i'm gonna say is uh 
and I'm going to make this argument in a couple different areas. Uh, shrines and temples come, are, well, actually, let's just say shrimples. Uh, let's just say temples, not shrimples. Uh, temples, shrimples. yeah, come That's too late <laughs> for the food and housing to matter for me. Um, if I'm if mm. I am investing in a shrine in a temple in All a right. city, it should. Here he goes. Here yeah. he goes talking about himself. Well, no, I, I'm just saying if you're uh, unless you're playing a religion game, you need mm -hmm. two temples for divine ins uh, for divine inspiration for the Eureka, correct? Um, so if you're not playing a religion game, unless it's providing me something unique, which culture is unique. Uh, you know, like there's only so many sources for it, but I can get food and housing other ways. Why am I investing 480 gold to get three food to housing? But you're investing it in you're investing in faith production, no matter what. Right? Yes. So you're building shrine shrines and temples, no matter what. How, so that's how, where how many wonders how many wonders are you going to build in the game? I don't know, seven. How many of them are going to be built before you build a lot of shrines and temples? I don't know. These questions are irrelevant. And this is why divine inspiration is better than feed the world. All right? Like, let's are just... you serious? Yes. Dude, uh, how many, how a many few months ago, can you build? A you, few you really... months ago, I would have been completely against divine inspiration. Uh, but I've actually been uh, using it in a few games where I don't have a uh, work ethic. Listen to yourself. I have been using it in a few games. Lately. Okay, but see, here's the thing. Like, here's the thing. It has to be better than the other options. I'm not saying it's number two. I'm saying it's better than Feed the World. That's interesting. Um, that's interesting. I mean, I, you know, because faith, right? You're trying to earn more faith. It's just it's plus four faith. Yeah. You only have four. Like... Correct, you build but a wonder every what I don't know twenty turns or something. Yeah, but it's Is plus that... four right away. If you build three wonders in your capital because you did an autocracy rush, that's twelve faith per turn. But instead of building early, a... very. I early. mean, a shrine will give you plus two faith. So you can still build that wonders. Shrine, though. You... Well, with that logic, you can still build a wonder while you're building that. Shrine that too. won't give you plus four faith. Yeah, but the shrines won't give you anything else, right? Just two faith. Correct. No, I mean it's it's interesting. But anyways, um, so you're saying feed the world's number two. I would say that uh, work ethic is number two, um, just because it's okay. it's the Fair. default. It's the workhorse. Yeah. Uh, it it's the it's the if you don't the know work ethic, the only reason it's on fourth position, it doesn't mean that I would pick it last from that batch. It just means it's in that group. Depending okay. on the so stretch, you didn't right? rank these one, two, three, four. No, everything no. in the green is number one. It's super confusing, exactly. Okay, so okay. like for example, if I'm playing a culture game, you know, I'm playing, I'm you know, planning to build Mount Saint Michel, you know, or I'm playing Congo, I'm gonna take Lady Congo, I'll take Reliquaries, you know, yeah, exactly, and go with that. So, so it really depends, so yeah, because. I and that, that's what I was going to say is uh, work ethic is, is number two because it's just yeah. the work horse. Oh. You're never wrong picking work ethic. It might not always be great, but it's giving you added production early and it's instant and you are uh, – what am I trying to say? You're getting – It's the, not instant, right? Like well, you, you have to you have – You still have to have the holy sites, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to have your cities converted to your religion too. But it's and it's and But it's one of those things – uh, work ethic is good for like the first 30, 40 turns. Then it's mostly irrelevant. Uh, like I mean, it's it's a given for adjacency pantheons. Exactly. Right? And I, it's, it's like a given for Russia and, and Khmer. And, well, Khmer maybe. Yeah. But like uh, Theodora, I guess. Japan even with their adjacency bonuses and whatnot. Um, but adjacency pantheon, if you pick that, then work ethic is is a must. Yeah, well, unless... And it's always available, right? Like, AI doesn't really yeah. go for and it. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Work ethic is good. It gives you production early when production is valuable. It's the same idea as choral music. Uh, Jesuit education is going to pay out more than work ethic and choral music ever will if you're looking at what you can actually create with it. But you're getting your bonuses so late with Jesuit education that yeah. doesn't matter. Early I was going to say the same thing. I mean, you're going to need... Eight and 80 faith to buy a research lab if you wanted to. Yeah. That's pretty expensive. But 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 the but the reality is the early game is what matters. Um so 
even if you only build like two or three shrines, choral music has already outperformed everything. Now, length of game, yeah. could you have done better with another choice? Oh, probably. But getting yeah. like three or four, or getting four to six extra culture on turn 40 is huge. Uh, uh, same idea with work ethic. If you have like two uh, decent holy sites, it's paid for itself. You've gotten your districts a little bit earlier. You've gotten a couple, you know, just being able to create a couple things earlier um, gets you that snowball a little bit faster. So we got through Coral, Feed the World, yeah. and Work Ethic. Yep. Right? Reliquaries is very special and yeah. unique. Reliquaries is the best belief if you're going for a culture game and relics exist. It, it like it is so far right. like, and relics beats, exist. Yeah. You have to be like <laughs> Yeah. And I would argue relics is probably the best belief. Um and this is where I would say choral music is the right choice like 80% of the time. I would give wor uh, work ethic, I don't know, about 10% and relics 10 percent if you're playing and you see one to two natural relics just the ai or you got them in the goodie hut or you know just our candies in game or you're playing with hero modes relics is the right choice doesn't matter what victory you're going for you get one relic that's plus 12 faith like yeah. if you get that but the turn... way you get relics right like you just mentioned you you get like a relic from a goodie hut if yep. you're lucky right early yep or you can buy it from the ai you can't get a relic early on in any other way except like you said if candy is in the game correct right and for candy you have to like choose it first and then be exactly. very careful and lucky in exploring yeah and um, get the natural wonder and, so, and you have to devote your game to that yeah right so reliquaries is a very very like it's it's complex actually for <laughs> for like a average player, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To pull off a successful uh, victory because the only thing that helps you later on is Mount Sun Michelle and then yeah. you just suicide your apostles. Yeah, but I will say Relics has like the the earliest, highest top end. I guess by the time you get to it, right? Yeah. You'll have a good idea whether it makes sense or not. Exactly, and that's the thing. If you're getting yeah. your religion turned 40-ish, and you haven't found any world wonders and candies in game, and you have a pretty good walk on Cesarity. Oh my God! Like get reliquaries and like. Who gets a religion on turn forty? What what <laughs> what is that? I'm talking about turn 60, 70. Well, was that same idea, same idea. You know. Right, right, and right, and right. this is another one you can pre. Just busting your balls. Yeah, you can pre-game uh, relic uh, relics as well. My Cleopatra game, I found candy, and I literally. I, I would like look at every single edge when I moved looking for the text for the, you know, because some of the wonder names are larger than the wonder. So you could see like the end of the name of the wonder <laughs> in the corner. And it's like, well, not going that way anymore. And I just had scouts like resting to find wonders in the next turn because I had a, a candy uh, cesarity coming up. The biggest benefit from reliquaries is what? Early tourism? Are we, are we banking? Because Tokyo In a culture game, tourism. yeah. So it's it's early religious tourism, right? Yeah. Oh, it's like if you're playing a culture game and relics is even an option, like if there's one relic, reliquaries is, is the correct choice. Yeah. The the amount of tourism it provides, uh relics plus Saint ba Basil Cathedral is insane. If you rush that, you can get tourism before national parks. Religious tourism for me is a little bit of a darker, darker area because yeah. I don't really, I've never really banked on it, you know, yeah. and played it. So that's something that I defer to you to. Um... Well, and, and the thing is the bonus, like you still get tourism from it. Even if you don't push your religion a ton, it's not much, but it, it's sort of the compounding effect of you get a ton of extra extra tourism but extra tourism extra faith is always good yeah extra tourism is so early right yeah in the first i don't know 80 turns let's say correct um you're earning those foreign tourists right yep earlier meaning that you can potentially achieve cultural victory earlier yeah if you keep snowballing because well, you, and... you don't just 
Yeah. And because cultural victories, the, the finish line is determined by the cultural output of your rivals, the faster you're earning tourists, even if you get like one or two before turn 100, like you're, you're shortening that finish line by so much. Um, yeah. Like it just, it's just a fact. Doesn't early tourism do virtually nothing? Uh, yes and no. Uh, if uh, I would say if you're not going to close the game out before turn 170, early tourism doesn't matter. It, it, it is so irrelevant. And that's the problem with religious tourism as a whole. Um, unless you're winning the game super early, it's too weak to matter. Um, so I feel like, and this is where I feel like sometimes Civilization VI is two different games because religious tourism just falls apart after like turn 100, 120, and then it's basically really weak. So it's great for me, um, but for like your average player, it's not it's not doing anything. So yeah, early tourism in a, in a much longer game is is it's it's irrelevant. Yeah, I mean you got to build Cristo, right? Yeah, make sure it keeps going. All right. Uh, Jesuit education. Jesuit education. I too would, late. It's yeah. too late. I would, I would almost, I, and this is where my problem was. I would put divine inspiration above Jesuit education. Wow. You really love divine inspiration. So divine inspiration, all world wonders get plus for yeah. faith. Let's see. I mean, I'll, you have to be able to build the freaking wonders. Yes. You know, to make it worthwhile because... But so see, many here, times like, you get outbuilt by AI, for example. Okay, you, you personally, Silver, you can build wonders. But correct, I feel like a lot of players. I mean, how many times you're building the wonder? Boom, outbuilt by AI. Then you start another one. Boom, outbuilt by AI. So exactly, yeah. You yeah. pick divine inspiration. You are screwed if you know you're in that type of game. You correct. Know what I mean, it's, but it's like a, I'm it's a very like, high risk selection but like if i'm ranking something i'm ranking for how does this help me win the game all right that's great but if you don't build wonders <laughs> it's not going to help you yeah yeah so for for people who who aren't playing to win the game and under 150 under 200 divine inspiration is going to rank lower for me divine inspiration is going to do much better because like you said oh you can build wonders wow. yeah I, I can build mm -hmm. wonders mm -hmm. and i build a lot of them and i settle cities specifically to build wonders and by the end of the game i have 15 20 wonders and this is sort of like a weaker relics for me because those wonders are giving me four faith early uh how soon are you finishing your apadana and your first autocracy rush pretty early and if you haven't gotten like huge holy sites sometimes you're getting like 10 to 20 faith per turn and that's on a high end um mm -hmm. so getting plus four faith is getting you up to that 100 faith per turn where you can start cranking out settlers, builders every single turn uh, threshold so much earlier. So this is one of those ones. Uh, for me, it ranks higher. I can see where everyone else mm -hmm. would dislike it, but it comes down to a stylistic choice. I, I'm going to be building so many wonders through the course of the game and early I, I build so many wonders that it just pays off and it pays for itself. I, I guess there are leaders, right? Like uh, China's Kin, who yep. would be like, this would work really well. Um, to Again, to be able to build wonders faster. So it makes sense. It makes sense. But it also takes skill and finesse, I yeah. guess, to actually. So, so Toki said in chat here, uh, so for a, a stinker like me, I guess I should, I, I think I should take something else, right? But, but, and then he said, well, couldn't you just put a plus four holy site? Well, yeah, you, you can put a plus four holy site, but much like I was saying with, uh, much like I was saying with choral music, just because there are other ways to get culture doesn't negate the fact that more culture is good. Faith is such a strong currency it's like faith is so incredibly strong and the earlier you get it um because like oracle if you can get oracle reduces the holy holy are the faith cost for great people so that makes faith stronger uh you're paying i i forget what is it like 20 percent less uh the value of gold I, I forget the exact uh exchange rate for gold to faith when purchasing on uh monumentality but like 
Faith is so much stronger, and it's not associated to any fixed cost. Like gold is associated to all your fixed cost, your building maintenance, your unit maintenance, all that. So if you have a lot of faith, it just has so many uses, and it's going to amplify your game. Uh, and like I said, and for me, because I know I'm doing that early wonder rush, that plus four faith is going to stack early when I need it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, makes sense. Makes um, sense. I mean, but I've no, never uh, seen you pick divine inspiration, but I, I've been doing it. that. A lot. I've been doing it a lot in games <laughs> where there's no relic and work ethic isn't isn't viable. But it's it's following. Let's that's, move on. Yeah. Uh, Let's okay. Move on. Yeah. But Jesuit we're education. Gonna, we're gonna like, spend like twenty minutes on one belief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Like, pe people know I talk too much. I, I, I yeah. think, I think that I think anyone who is watching this knows Mike talks way too much. Yeah. Yeah. The Jesuit education. You know what? I took it in my last science game actually because work ethic was. I just had very, very poor adjacency for holy sites, and I was like, and nothing else was available. Yeah. So I picked that in place of divine inspiration because I also haven't built many wonders. Yeah. Right. It actually worked pretty well. I mean, you pay one around two hundred for a library, around five hundred for university, right? Yeah. Because at some point you switch, you build a bunch of campuses, and if you are producing pretty good faith, you can get your universities up very, very quickly because. I was short on gold, so it kind of worked out. Yeah, you know? no. Um, so it's situational. It's, it's yeah, Jesuits are it good. It just comes late. I, I, I it just comes later. Right? Yeah, especially for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, and yeah, and, and like, don't get me wrong. Like, I actually do like Jesuit. The, the problem with Jesuit is the AI takes it um, very early. So it's not available and making Ooh, the call okay. that that's going to be the route that early for me is hard. Um, if that okay. makes sense, um, because there's a lot of games where at the end, I like if I like replay the game. Yeah. Judge the ed education would have been better, but there's just no way I would have known that when I was picking my religion. The next group, I would put religious community in the red. I would oh, yeah. Up it's religious community. The I so wait, wait. So the brown is poop section, yeah. basically. Zen meditation, right? So yeah. let's talk about it. It's plus one amenity. With two, with two specialty districts. districts, like that's such a <laughs> that's such a weak reward for what you're getting, like. And I saw Ursa playing Scotland, you know, and and yeah. and taking Zen, and it's fine. But you have other options, right? Because yeah. Picking Zen, you have all that stuff uh, on top of it. So if it was one amenity for it? every two districts, okay. But it's literally like Zen meditation. It's one. That's it should just literally be one amenity. It should just be, uh, because then at least you're getting it right away. The fact that it then has the modifier of you need two specialty districts takes a weak reward and then makes you wait for it. Wait, specialty districts are like any district, right? Like, I guess, I guess it doesn't Specialty matter. districts are your campus, your... Yeah, are are your population cap districts? So aqueduct stuff like stuff yeah. like that doesn't count. But that's what right. I'm saying. Like if Zen right. meditation was you get an amenity for every two districts you build, uh, yeah, then it would be. I still wouldn't even think it was that strong at that point. But the fact that you have to wait for your second specialty district, which means you have to get to four population in every city that's following it to even get this, and then finish that district. Is you're waiting so long for one amenity? Yes. There are so many other ways. Just buy it from the freaking AI. Buy the luxury resources, right? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Yeah. So religious community, I have it up there. So I would say well it's the weakest. It. I would it's, say it's ridiculous to yeah. me. I mean, when would you even run international trade routes early to make them viable for this type of uh, belief? Yeah. You know? well, and, and what sieve are you gonna trade with? To like figure out if there are holy sites. Like, what? This to me it doesn't make any sense, to be honest. Yeah. So, you, you, and this, this is, you're hoping for a lot of religious city states. Um, if you have, if you were Portugal and there oh, was yeah, a lot. Oh, yeah. City states count too, right? Yeah. Okay. If, you, if you're Portugal and there's a lot of religious city states on the coast, you could make an argument for this, but that's such a small likelihood. Um, but, 
like the problem is even religious civs don't build a holy site in every city. If you look at the end game map, uh, like at, at the end of your games, look at how the AI builds districts. They're just not going to build enough holy sites for this to pay off. Uh-huh. 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 That's a good point. Awesome. I love that. Um, you have to know how AI operates, right? Yeah. And like it, it's just not gonna pay off. And two, this is one, it starts off weak, which means it's never gonna get any stronger. It's two gold. Right. Like right. it's it's two gold. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is so yeah. weak. Even well, maybe four gold if they have a shrine. Yeah, which is but it's two rare. gold on inter international trade route. International trade routes are already the significantly weaker option in most cases. So you're already taking a yeah. slightly weaker trade route, and the bonus you're getting is not strong, uh, and it never gets there. Like, what's yeah. the cap? So this is the worst one. Yeah, like, but it's it's useless yeah completely useless now the last one is in in this group is warrior monks yeah now, so here's my take on warrior monks. warrior monks I, is fun warrior monks is fun it's a fun play it's a fun play but like there the window that you can have that fun with i feel like it's very short yeah <laughs> like you know what i mean like they can be pretty and you have to promote them yeah to get take advantage of them, you can right? do like zulu and make warrior monks great uh, but even uh, like and this is like in deity i've tried to do this um even i struggle getting them out and active on a deity game and keeping them uh worthwhile like and that's really? like games where i've gamed the system i've played I've done like unnatural things to expedite uh -huh. my growth and stuff um, uh -huh. just to see if you could make warrior monks worth work. You can, but you have to just be like, it just, they're just so weak. They're fun on lower difficulties. Yeah. I, I say do it, but you're getting a culture bomb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But again, it's an opportunity cost. Yeah. Right? Like you're going with warrior monks. You're, you're foregoing every other belief on yeah. this list. Like, why would you pick them before, like, work ethic? Or maybe you get, if on lower difficulties, you probably have choral music available. Yeah. Right? And that's why the yeah. top four, I, I think, are just the ones that you're not, like, even if you pick wrong, at least you got the yields early. And that's why, like I said, that's why I do put Divine Inspiration for me. And if you mm -hmm. know that, mm -hmm. like, if you know you can get the wonder. All right. So what are we going into next? Enhancement beliefs?